MESA 2012, brought to you by Groove 3. Hey, it's Russ here, and I'm at MESA 2012. I'm with Adrian from Avid. New product out, Pro Tools Express. We've had it for a few weeks, Adrian. Uh, I think it's a great product. Talk to me first of the thinking behind it. Yeah, so um, basically, what we wanted to do is we wanted to, to help people who are on a somewhat limited budget, who are maybe not so sure about where they want to take their own recording, and, and help them a little bit in, in that we wanted to offer them the Mbox product line at that lower price point, but with a version of Proto software. Because as you know, before the introduction of Express, we basically had two different versions of each Mbox product. One that came with Proto software at a higher price point, naturally, and one that came at a more attractive price point, so to speak, but without Protoss software included, right? And, and it made a lot of sense. And we also get, got, uh, got a lot of user feedback over the course of the last year that there was a lot of demand for such a product. And, and we basically just counted one on one together. So I suppose the transition for Avid in this last two years, when it went to nine and it decoupled the software from the hardware, there was always going to be somebody, I, I, put in my, I put in my review, there's all, you, you can't make everybody happy, but this seems to be quite close now at ticking all of the boxes. So somebody can buy a software version on its own, somewhere can buy, somebody can buy the hardware, or somebody can have it thrown in. So was that a response to people feeling the grief of not getting the software free anymore? Well, I mean, some, some people probably felt a little bit of grief, and if you think back, and you know, all the way back, you know, we had this version of Proto Software that was included at no extra charge, it was called LE. And we had a different kind of grief to deal with at that point, right? Because we did not have this, this upper level version of Proto Software that was open, included delay compensation, for example, and all those more professional features. And now that we have that upper tier of, of Proto Software, uh, it, it really made a lot more sense to try that bundle idea again, um, and, 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 and streamline the version of Proto Software in such a way that it is not seen as limiting, I think. You know, of course it is, you don't get the full feature set of Protoss because you know essentially you don't have to pay for, pay it. for it. Well, exactly. So but um, we included things like delay compensation for example. You get you know all the media and music features and all the notation software in you know, as uh, the features. Everything's there. And now you can work with that version of Protoss software just like the its big brother and, and and get your work done at home. You know of course with limits. Which leads me on to this question, who is it aimed at? Who, 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 who are you thinking? Who's this? Who's going to walk into a store now? Who's going to ring up Sweetwater or whoever it is and say, "Hey, that one's for me"? So I would say it's people who, like I said in the beginning, who, who want to start out, aren't sure yet whether or not they want to, you know, spend um, X amount of dollars or euros in the beginning. Um, people who, like the singer-songwriters, who maybe not even need, you know, all of the um, the feature set of the full version, you know. Who, might be very happy and content with 16 audio tracks. Um, so it's really those those people who, you know, we see this as a starter edition. You, that's maybe also a, a, a better way to describe the feature set. You know, it's a starter edition of Pro Tools. It gets you started, you can use it, you can have fun with it, you can learn how to use it. I think that's also a very important point, right? And then when you're ready, we have this uh, cross grade that we offer at, at a really attractive price. That was my next. That was my next question. Well, there's two. There's two. There's two questions there. They're not. It, first, they're not learning a version of Pro Tools they can't take to the next level, are they? All the shortcuts are the same. Yes. All the file Absolutely. structures are the Absolutely, same. Yes. So you could make a session in Pro Tools Express and open it in an HD system. Absolutely, you can. Yes. And then there's an attractive upgrade. What is the upgrade cost for if if somebody, let's say, six months down the road says, you know, what, I want the full version of Pro Tools there? So it, in US dollars, it's three ninety nine, three hundred ninety nine dollars. So you basically can cross grade from that version of Pro Tools Express to the full version. Brilliant, and, that, and then they can download that and, and, and then carry on working. Yes, exactly. So you can upgrade online or you can go to your retailer and buy it. So. As I say, I've had it for a few weeks, so I was already able to review it the day you launched it. Uh, giving it Editor's Choice Award, I think it's a, it's, 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 it's a no-brainer as far as I can see. You're now getting an Mbox with a, with a version of Pro Tools 10 uh, at no cost. Yeah. Uh, so uh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I, I hope the market now understand what Avid are trying to do because we now see a delineation of products, don't we? Yes, uh, so you know, it's called Pro Tools for a reason. Right, so, so, so the way I'm mean, joking aside, you know, we, we basically see Protoss as a tool that you want to learn if you, you have an inkling of, you know, maybe taking your own future in, 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 in that direction, right? You know, it's not really meant as a, let's just say, consumer product, you know, it's not really meant to replace something like GarageBand, for example, right? So it's really a tool that's meant for professionals. And of course, you know, we, 
we always wanted to have versions of that software that were more accessible to, to people you know, who just get started to get back to that point. So um, it really is a professional tool that we want to give into everybody's hands as much as possible. Now there's one thing that it's kind of returning to the LE days. It's locked to the hardware, isn't it, and to the iLock. So you can only get this, you can't, you can't go to your mate and copy a version of it and then use it on your own machine, can you? No, you cannot, no, that's right. Okay, fine. Well, Adrian, it's a pleasure. Thank you. It's a great product and uh, have a great show. Thank you, same to you.